Diego go? Diego's Great Dinosaur Rescue. Hola, said Diego. I'm Diego, and I came to the Dinosaur Museum to study some animals that lived long ago. Do you see who came with me? Baby Jaguar, my sister Alicia, and even me prima Dora. Hola, said Alicia. Do you want to learn about dinosaurs with us? Bamano, said Dora. Let's go see the museum. Alicia looked around at the many dinosaur skeletons in the museum. Dinosaurs came in all different shapes and sizes, she said. Diego, do you see a super big dinosaur with a really long neck, Alicia asked. See, there it is, said Diego, the Brachiosaurus. And I see a really small dinosaur, said Dora. Do you? There, said Alicia, the Microraptor. It's so small that it could fit in a backpack. Baby Jaguar rushed over to a dinosaur skeleton that was surrounded by eggs. Alicia, what kind of dinosaur is this one, he asked. That one is called a Myasaura, Alicia answered. What do you think happened to it? Diego asked. Alicia walked over to a book near the Mayasara. As she turned the pages, she began to tell the story about the dinosaur. Once upon a time, Alicia began, there was a very brave dinosaur named Maya. Maya was the big sister in the Mayasara family. The Mayasara family traveled together looking for a place to lay their dinosaur eggs. But one day while they were walking, Maya sniffed the air and looked worried. Why, baby jaguar asked. Maya smelled trundin dinosaurs, Alicia said. Mayasaras are afraid of trundins. What happened next, Alicia? Dora asked. Maya told her brothers and sisters to catch up with their mammy while she stayed behind to build a wall that the Trundans could not get over. Smart thinking, said Diego. Maya worked hard to protect her family, Alicia continued. But when she was finished, a storm came and it rained so hard it washed away the footprints of Maya's family. Oh no, Diego cried. Maya got lost. We've got to help Maya and the Mayasara family. Mayasara find her family, said Diego. It's our biggest adventure ever, ever. But I know we can do it because I'm an animal rescuer. I'm an animal scientist, Ad Alicia. I know a lot about dinosaurs. I'm an explorer, said Dora. I've traveled all over the world. Don't forget about me, said Baby Jaguar. I'm a jaguar. I can growl really loud. We need to jump back to the time of the dinosaurs, Diego said. Are, are you ready to jump back 120 million years, asked Alicia. Salta, said Dora as she jumped. Diego, Dora, Alicia, and baby jaguar sailed through the air and landed in a place filled with giant trees and swampy ponds. We made it. Now we can help Maya get back to her family, said Diego. But I don't see her anywhere. Look, called Dora. There's a dinosaur footprint on, on the ground. Baby Jaguar looked puzzled. But we don't know which one are Maya's footprints. My book says that Mayasaurus have three toes. So we need to just, so we just need to look for the footprints with three toes. 
Diego counted the toes on each footprint. Finally, he pointed to the one and said, Uno, dos, tres, three toes. That must be Maya's footprint. Our rescate to the rescue. Look, Diego called Alicia. There's Maya, the Mayasara. Diego ran down the path toward the dinosaur. Hola, Maya, Diego called, but Maya could not hear him. I've got an idea, Baby Jaguar said as he jumped up and down. If we roar really loud like a dinosaur, Maya will hear us. Great idea, Baby Jaguar, Diego said. Everyone roar to call Maya. Maya heard the roars and leaned down to Diego. We've come to help you find your family, Diego told Maya. Gracias, amigos, Maya said thankfully. Map can help us find your family, said Dora as she held out Map. Map showed them the path to Maya's family. Maya's family is on Egg Island, said Map. To get to Egg Island, first you have to go through the muddy mud pits. Then you go across the rocky cliffs and past the volcano. And that's how you'll get to Egg Island. Vominos, let's go, cheered Dora. We made it to the muddy mud pits, Dora shouted. Suddenly, they heard a rumbling noise. That's my tummy growling because I'm hungry, Maya said. We'll find you something to eat, Diego said. Some dinosaurs were meat eaters, Alicia said. Others were plant eaters. What does Maya like to eat, asked Diego. Lots and lots of leaves, boomed Maya. So we need to find some trees with leaves, said Alicia. Do you see any? At the trees, Maya stood on her back legs and stretched up to eat the yummy leaves. Let's all stretch like Maya saw her, Diego yelled. Stretch, stretch, stretch. After the snack, the friends made their way to the rocky rock cliffs. Look out, Diego warned. There's a rock slide. The ground shook and suddenly Diego, Alicia, and Dora were carried down the cliff by a pile of rocks. Diego said, Dora. Diego said, Dora as she pointed to the top of the cliff. We've got to get back to the top so we can take Maya to her family. What can we use to climb up the rock cliff, Diego asked. You can use my tail, Maya cheered. On the way to Egg Island, Maya smelled trundons again. Oh, no, Diego said worriedly. Myosaurus are afraid of Trundons. Trundons are really smart dinosaur. Alicia read from her dinosaur book. They're not as smart as us, Diego said. If we all stomp like big dinosaurs, they'll think there's an earthquake and we'll scare them away. Quick, said Dora. Let's all stand up and stomp like dinosaurs. Diego's plan worked. The Trundons were tricked and they ran far away, far, far away. Baby Jaguar looked across the water at Egg Island. How will we get to the island, he asked. I can swim, Maya said to Baby Jaguar. That's right, said Alicia. Myasaurus and a lot of other dinosaurs can swim. Finally, Maya reached Egg Island as re and was reunited with her family. Her mammy and her pappy were so happy to see her. Thank you for helping Maya find her way back to us, said Mommy Maya Sara. You're welcome, answered Diego. Mission completa. Rescue complete. We learned a lot while, vi while visiting the time of the dinosaurs, but now it's time to head back to the museum, Alicia said. Vominos, shouted Dora, 
And with that, Diego, Baby Jaguar, Alicia, and Dora jump back to the museum to continue their dinosaur adventures another day.